Engagement is important for investors in general and for pension funds in particular. Why? There's three reasons. First of all, it's part of our responsibility. The OECD guidelines actually ask you to be, get involved with companies when you are worried about one of the elements that conflict with the OECD guidelines. If you don't, you better leave that company, you better disinvest. It's like a, just a good way to behave. So there's one thing, there's res responsibility. You are an owner of a company. That means you hold responsibility for that company. A share is a part of the ownership. The second reason is that it is a great way to be conscious of a, the most effective and efficient allocation of your capital. Maximize returns, maximize the creation of value, minimize your risks. Engagement helps you to optimize the risk and return balance. The third reason is perhaps the most powerful reason, that you have to do engagement because that helps you to influence a company to, be, to find solutions for the challenges we face in general. If you have a company, if you can move that company to find solutions for the climate crisis, for the shortage of raw materials, the shortage of energy, of clean water, air and so on, you have a company that will be successful in the future. You will find a company that has a competitive advantage. And if you invest in such a company, your returns could be higher. It's not money that will change the world. It's the real economy, it's the companies that find concrete solutions by having innovated, with innovative products and services. Then you can ask yourself the question, how do I do uh, engagement in the right way? My experience has shown that good engagement is successful when you apply, let's say, four different elements, key elements, when you take them into account. The first element is Make it personal. Talk to the board directly. Talk to the CEO and the CFO directly. Show them your sincere concerns. Talk to them as a good house father, as a person from a person. Show it as an investor you want to think along with them. The personal contact is highly important. We organize stakeholder dialogues and there has not been any dialogue where I didn't find a CEO being genuinely surprised about at least one of the topics he heard upon. The second element for successful engagement is do it fact-based. Make sure that you're, you have your facts in order, you do research and you do not have an emotional calling upon a company, but you have a fact-based discussion. The third one is that you have to think long-term. Now this is an easy one for pension funds because they are by definition long-term investors. Show a company you're loyal to them. You don't leave within the hour, you don't buy and sell shares every day. Just stick with the company, make sure they understand you will be back next year when there's another shareholder meeting or another uh, engagement conversation going on. That way you create this long-term link and companies will be inclined to pay attention to what you're saying. And then finally, and this will be my most Im important uh, suggestion for successful engagement, is do it with a smile. Do it constructive, make sure the company understands that you think with them, not against them. You want a company to be successful because then you will be successful. If a company feels and experiences that they will be very happy, then they will see engagement as a warm bath when they can learn something, they get free advice. You have your friends around you, not only your investors. My calling upon the Italian pension funds would be, don't be afraid, don't be scared. Go out there, be outspoken, just speak up your mind. State clear where you stand for and think with the company and do it with a smile. Thank you.